the Irish jig? Huh? Can you do the Irish jig? Can you do the Israel thing? Hey. <laughs> it's a jig, man. It's a fucking jig, man. That's a jig, man. That's a jig, man. So what are you saying? Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. I am come into my garden. My sister, my spouse. My sister, what? My spouse. My black woman is my spouse. I don't go and commit whoredoms with another man's woman. You understand? We are not all the same. When the Lord created the white man, he gave him a white cave woman. You understand? When he created the Arabs, he gave you an Arab woman. Why you read something? black man. You when he created you, he gave you that black Why woman. Won't you read right, so go deal with her, man, and stop trying to take her eat. All right, so as you can see here, this is Deuteronomy, the 23rd chapter, and I have Elder Manatzak read it. Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 2. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to his 10th generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Right, so this is the scripture that they try to use to uh, justify their bullshit. You know, like I said, this word bastard, which you have the word here, this, it says mamzer here, but it's mamzer. This does not appear in the book of Ezra or Nehemiah anyway. Now, this is the definition of the word mamzer. Go ahead, brother. Come. It says, bastard, child of incest, illegitimate child. A, bastard. B, mixed population. C, born of a Jewish father and a heathen mother or vice versa. Which this is total bullshit. bullshit. All right? It's born, this, the, the face of the Indian is more gentle, even when she's become the Thus, minor's prostitute. They're wearing the headpieces, they're wearing the scarves, they're wearing the shields. Some of them even got the 12 tribe sign that came from the knowledge, that, where they get the knowledge of the breakdown of the 12 tribes was from the same place, the Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ. So they came into the school, they came into the church, they got the knowledge. There is a, a comprehensive widespread consensus among the anthropologists today from all subdisciplines of anthropology that the homeland of Native Americans is East Asia. Uh, throughout the Jew, Jews throughout the world have been pretty heavily to die for that nation, the nation of Israel. Go ahead. And not for that nation only, but that also you should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. Right, because at this time it was the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that was right there in Israel with Christ. But the other ten tribes had already came over to the America. Molecular data, the DNA data, uh, indicate the closest affinities of uh, contemporary Native American populations uh, are with, with populations in uh, East Asia and Central Asia. I think it's true that there is a scientific consensus that the original peoples that came to the Americas uh, came from Asia. Former slaves owned by the Chickasaw Nation. Owned by the Chickasaw Nation. Owned by the Chickasaw Nation. Your ancestors were enslaved by Native Americans. Here's your great-great-grandmother, Mary Kemp, huh. her 11... Babylonian captivity. So we know that this is not talking about the ancient Babylonian captivity. Because after the uh, ancient Babylonian captivity, when the Babylonians went down, when the Persian, Medo-Persian Empire took took the Babylonians down Israel never even went back to the to, to the land of Ephraim the kingdom of Judah was the only um, kingdom that was left among the nation of Israel the entire nation of Israel that stayed over here in the Middle East the rest of the tribes had went over to the Americas go ahead in those days and at that time say the Lord
Joseph a flame in the house of Joseph a flame. Why is it saying this? Because Israel was split up into two kingdoms. Joseph was ruling over one kingdom, Ephraim, and the other kingdom was called the kingdom of Judah, and Benjamin and Levi was in that kingdom. One kingdom was called the kingdom of Israel when they split up into two, and Joseph, Ephraim, true uh, Ephraim was ruling the tribes that went with them. And the house of Esau for. Because after the uh, ancient Babylonian captivity, when the Babylonians went down, when the Persian, Medo-Persian Empire took took the Babylonians down, Israel never even went back to the, to, to the land of Ephraim. The kingdom of Judah was the only um, kingdom that was left among the nation of Israel, the entire nation of Israel that stayed over here in the Middle East. The rest of the tribes had went over to the Americas. Go ahead. Those days and at that time. North, Judah had possessed the south. So they ain't talking about the ancient land of Israel. Because some knucklehead might come up and say that. But let's go back to Genesis 49 and 1. Genesis 49 and 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourself together that I may tell you that which shall be for you in the last day. So we're in the last days. So they, where are they now? To this, to this day? They're... And uh, 13 Zebulon shall dwell at the haven of the sea and he shall be for an haven of ships and his border shall be unto Zidon read that again it says Zebulon shall dwell at the haven of the sea and he shall be for the for an haven of ships and his border shall be unto Zidon important geographical location in Egypt is the Suez Canal. Two million barrels of oil pass through the canal every day, bound for the U.S., Europe, and Asia. Without the canal, tankers would have to go around the Horn of Africa, adding eight weeks to the trip. Imagine what that would do to the price of oil. In addition, the U.S. Navy sends 12 warships per month through the canal, a key shortcut to Iraq and Afghanistan. Take a look at this. <laughs> 